Welcome to Just Desserts, where we make Just Desserts. On today's episode, we are following through with a promise made on a previous episode of Raffle Waffle. We made a bunch of different waffles out of coffee cream, and they were pretty good. But uh, the thing is, the thickness of coffee creamer, the sweetness, all of it put together reminded me of what an ice cream base tastes like. So I was like, you could probably just take a coffee creamer and turn it into ice cream. Mm. It's probably a pretty good idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this non-dairy coffee creamer, cinnamon toast crunch flavored. I'm, oh my God, I'm so excited for that. <laughs> I, I love the idea of cinnamon toast crunch flavored coffee creamer. It's like gotta be like horchata, right? Oh, which is delicious. That sounds way worse. It's like drinking a, a, a cinnamon roll. It's mm. delicious. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this because it has all the sugar we need. It's sort of the same consistency of whole milk. It has the fat and we're going to mix it with the heavy whipping cream that we usually do for ice cream. And we're going to see if we can actually make ice cream out of coffee creamer. But we're gonna put in the mix. It's gonna be two cups coffee creamer. And one cup heavy whipping cream. Ooh, that sounded like a heavy whip. Oh, yeah. Usually we use a beater, you know, to blend in the sugar and everything. But we're, we just got it all in here, so I'm just gonna mix it up. Good enough. <laughs> And, boom, we're gonna go for it. Boom. Yay! It's our first step on the journey. Gross. And this is gonna roll for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna see what happens. That sounds it's disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> hey, why is it disgusting? How dare you? I'm a little lactose intolerant. Oh! I'm gonna try it regardless, though. Change. It was a As you can tell from the sound of our ice cream maker screaming, it is time for ice cream. Yay! I'm not going home tonight. <laughs> it scream, therefore we scream for ice cream. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Boom. Oh. It, I can see a little bit of chunk, a little bit of ice crystallization that happens when... Your ice cream doesn't have enough fat. Mm -mm. It's not thickness enough. It doesn't have enough, thickness. It doesn't have enough two C's. It's, oh, it's right one. Now. It's one C. Um, I need three C's. Yeah. C's. We need C C's. Uh -huh. We're getting there. We're getting there. So it does have a slightly off texture. It's almost like a cold uh, whipped cream sort of mm. to look at. But we're gonna try it. Remember, we went, we did the best that we could here, and already started with cream, and our non-dairy uh, coffee creamer, and I can tell already from the aroma that the flavor is strong in here. <laughs> it just smells of Charles. Mm. We're not trying anything fancy here. We're not throwing in any caramel whips or circles or whatever the fuck. We just want to know. Can you take coffee creamer plus heavy cream and make ice cream? Let's do it for science. So we'll throw this in the freezer, see how it turns out. Yay! Ooh, I dripped. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I have to say is that after, what time is it? Uh, after about three hours, I think it was in the freezer. It's still pretty soft. Oh, that must be something from the non-dairy part. Yeah, I think so. So I'm a little bit afraid that this kind of product, even with all the the whole the the heavy whipping cream we put in there, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna hit the texture we're looking for. Mm. But I'm ready to try it. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, yeah. Texture wise. There's a lot of grit. There's a lot of the um, ice crystals in there. Oh. Once it's at this stage, it almost tastes like there's 
um, fake sweetener in it. Like it's the the coffee creamish flavor that was already there is extremely strong. The cinnamon toast crunch, the flavor that was already there, really strong. However, it's starting to come across as a aspartame or sucralose sort of flavor. Mm. And the texture definitely has a lot of ice crystal to it. It it's not hitting the mark you want with ice cream. Yeah. However, if you wanted to make an iced coffee with the coffee creamer flavor that's here, th this is actually a pretty good way to do it. You can make something kind of interesting that way. So, it's all right. Before anything, uh, I am not a uh, lactose tolerant person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have to take pills constantly because I am lactose intolerant. I don't know. Um, so, just an FYI on, on that take on, on this stuff. Alright. Wow, that's fucking good. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah. Wow. Does it taste like cinnamon toast crunch? No, it doesn't. It doesn't taste as bad as cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, Which is wow. really, in my opinion, yeah. uh -huh. bad. <laughs> But uh, this, as a lactose intolerant person, uh, this tastes pretty bad. I mean, cinnamon toast crunch tastes bad. This <laughs> tastes good. Uh, uh, wow. That's okay. good. Right on. All right. Cinnamon toast crunch. The only thing that would give me hives on my thighs as a kid. <laughs> what, what? Coming back full circle. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. I had one allergy. And Why it does like, everybody hate Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I it's love so Cinnamon good. Toast Crunch. I can't help that it gives me hives. <laughs> cinnamon. cinnamon. But, delicious. Yeah. Um, but I do love the flavor of that cereal. Let's see if it comes through in the coffee creamer. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So it reminds me more of a maple bar than it does Cinnamon Toast Crunch. True. Yeah. But I think the creamer itself is just coming across that way. What mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out is, is this a serviceable ice cream? Uh, or is there something inherently wrong with the iced creaminess? <laughs> you know, I can tell that there is uh, a little bit of grain to it, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's very disturbing at all. I really like the flavors that are going on here, <clears throat> despite the fact that it doesn't have any of the breadiness of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Because mm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it has the flavor of maple, it has the flavor of cinnamon, but then it also has, you know, all of the actual heft to it. All of the carbohydrate and stuff that belongs in that cereal. Mm -hmm. And that flavor is absolutely not represented here. But I like this. Yeah. I think it's a good ice cream, and I think if it had pralines or something in it, Ooh. it would be very serviceable as a standard ice cream that you could hand out to people uh, and charge for it, and they probably wouldn't even be able to tell that it was mm -hmm. made from something kind of off. So you think you could doctor it up a bit mm -hmm. and still create a decent ice cream? Mm -hmm. I would say the one problem is going to be the consistency of it. Mm -hmm. Because it's very soft when you get it right away, but if it was served as a soft serve, and it was very <clears throat> short on the cone, you could probably do it, and it would be pretty delicious. You could do a lot worse, and we have done a lot worse. <laughs> yes. So no, it's true. Think, Talk about ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> How about that chocolate coated taco bell? Whatever the, taco. Yeah, it was not a taco taco. It was a choco and seasoned beef taco. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> not, oh, not good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, um, after everything's said and done, I still enjoyed my experience and uh, I am not regretting the fact that we did this. So please join us next time on our next Just Desserts when we figure out what else we can put into some kind of sweet confectionery. Did I just spit? I just spit all over the counter. <laughs> we'll try to turn that into a sweet confectionery. All right, everybody, join us next time. <clears throat> and in the meantime, remember to like, comment, subscribe, 
Hit that notification bell so you can see the latest things we did. Follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash love for molasses. And check out our merch shop. Buy a cult move ice cream churner. Coming soon. Get get with Pink on that. Don't, don't talk to me about it. Get with Pink on that. He'll get it to you. See you next time. Bye-bye.